everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 3 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, I'm getting really excited, guys. We are getting very, very close to finishing off our bottling machine, uh, but we do have a lot of things we've got to build today. This is actually probably going to end up being a two-parter uh, because I've got a long list of things we've got to build. Uh, so to start off, we're going to need a couple of steel rods. Now these are two steel ingots. Uh, we're going to take those rods, we're going to place them in the crafting table here uh, to get some steel scaffolding. Now that is going to be three steel ingots and three steel rods. Uh, as well, we're going to need some redstone engineering blocks. Uh, they are going to be uh, four iron ingots, four redstone, and one copper ingot. Uh, we are also going to need a couple of iron mechanical components. Uh, now these are four iron ingots and one copper ingot. We're going to take that iron mechanical component, we're going to pop it into the table here, and that is going to get us a light engineering block. Uh, this is going to be four iron ingots, three copper ingots, and two iron mechanical components. As well, we're going to need a bunch of sheet metal. Uh, to make sheet metal, we are going to need an engineer's hammer. Uh, that is two sticks, two iron ingots, and a piece of string. We're going to take that hammer, we're going to place it in the crafting table, uh, along with a stack of uh, iron ingots. Uh, that is going to get us some iron plates. Uh, now, I just want uh, as many iron plates as I can get, so I'm just going to shift click and I'm going to do all 64 of those uh, iron ingots into iron plates. It does use up my engineer's hammer quite a bit, but uh, that's not going to be the end of the world on this one. Uh, we're going to take those, oh, uh, yeah, the engineer hammers will allow you to, to uh, flip things in the world as well. Uh, we're going to take that iron plate, place it into the crafting table, along with four iron plates. That is going to get us four iron sheet metal. Also, we're going to need a couple of fluid pipes. That is going to be six iron plates. We're going to take one of these fluid pipes, we're going to place it in the crafting table here, uh, and that is going to get us a fluid pump. Uh, that is three fluid pipes, three iron plates, and one iron mechanical component. And last but not least, we are going to need some conveyor belts. Now these are three pieces of leather, two iron ingots, and one piece of redstone. Now, one other thing that we're going to need is a piece of glass. I'm going to take that out and let's put these, actually no, let's put the conveyor belts down here. So we're going to come in here. Uh, now there is a pattern, it's a little bit of a puzzle to put together uh, using these blocks. So to start, we're going to take the iron scaffolding. We're going to make it just a little triangle here. We're going to place the redstone engineering block in the middle. On this side here, we're going to place two pieces of iron sheet metal, and over here we're going to place the light engineering block. Uh, now these two uh, on these sides here can be reversed. Uh, what's going to make it important is how you place the conveyor belt. Uh, you always want the conveyor belt moving away from the iron sheet metal towards the light engineering block. So watching the arrow on top of the scaffolding, we're just going to place that down. We're going to place that down, we're going to place that down. So the uh, conveyor belt's moving in this direction. Uh, we're also going to need to place a fluid pump. Now we could, uh, with an engineer hammer, uh, move uh, different input output ports on this. Not going to make a difference on this one. Uh, last but not least, we're going to place that piece of glass here up on top. This building, or this machine is now ready to be built. Uh, we're going to take that iron, uh, we're going to take that engineer's hammer, right click on the center conveyor belt, and there we go. We have a completed bottling machine. Uh, now there's a couple other steps we got to do to get it uh, functioning. We've got to power it. We've got to get our liquid experience from our storage center into it. As well, we got to feed it with bottles. So uh, that's going to be next episode. Uh, so that's it for this one, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jack. Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.